All right, so the files have copied over. Um, one thing I want to do is I just want to create a, uh, a directory here to put everything into. So just call it portal install. And we'll just drag and drop these files in. It works just like Windows. Um, one thing I want to do on the files in here is just make sure, just set the properties so that uh, everything is executable. Just uh, run into it sometimes where it gets kind of weird. Um, where there is a file that should be executable that isn't. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll happen here, but this will make sure it doesn't. All right. So the next thing we need to do is open up a terminal window and switch back to or get to the root user. And then we need to get down into that portal install directory. So it'll be under home, Sean, desktop, and portal install. And then we want to switch to this IL setup disk or directory. And then the, the what we actually need to run is this setup.sh. So we'll do dot slash setup sh and this should bring up a sort of a Firefox based dialog and then what we want to do is actually choose the selection install portal express and then this link right here will actually launch the install program um, there's several different ways to install portal we're doing the most user-friendly GUI way in this example um, there's also what's called a console install, which is still interactive, but is interactive through the command line. And then there's a silent install where you set everything up in property files um, beforehand, run it, and there's no interaction with the user, which is a lot better if you're doing a lot of installs, like in, in a real world type situation. All right, so here's the installation program. We'll go ahead and select next, accept the license. and the uh, installation programs taking a look at our system and here's going to be where we're going to install WebSphere Portal uh, this is a standard location under the op directory so we'll just go ahead and accept that default uh, we'll go ahead and change the node name it's going to be the node that's created in the application server I'll call this portal trial and then the domain name or the fully fully qualified host name this is where we are the value we had entered earlier into the Etsy host file so we'll switch this to my portal dot portal dot com and select next this is going to be the user ID or the admin user ID for portal um, I've been doing this for quite a while and I always use WPS admin as the username and password for these demo type systems it's probably the most common one that I run into. So we'll go with WPS admin, WPS admin for username and password. Uh, we get a warning that it's going to actually create a, an operating system user ID with this name and password. Um, so we'll say OK to this. Yeah, the, that username and password will be fine with the OS as well. And now we have you know the settings that we've chosen. There's a verification screen. Once I hit next here, we'll actually begin the install of Portal. So let's go ahead and hit next. And now the installation is kicking off. This is going to be another process that will take quite a while. Um, the installation program does have some, some status bars. The status bars will start over. I think there's five steps to this process that it goes through. Uh, it'll also tell you what log files it's writing to, so you can go and tail those logs if you wanted to make sure it's still still running. Uh, as well as I believe you should be able to open up a log file directly from the installation program. And then another thing you can do is if we open up another terminal window and change to the root user again. And run the command top. Um, here you can see uh, what's taking up the, the processor and memory on the on the system and uh, 
you want to make sure, see here we see some DB2 uh, processes running. You see DB2 processes running or Java processes running. You see them getting CPU time memory. You know that this process isn't hung and that your uh, installation is still taking place. Again, you're pro we're probably looking at uh, 20 minutes before this is done. So I will pause the recording again and we'll come back once the system is up and running. All right, well, we've got the uh, installation was successful dialog box, so everything went smoothly. It did take quite a while, probably at least half an hour. Um, and this tells us where, uh, like right here, if we want to go to log into the portal. So let's get up a web browser. Firefox. If we go to HTTP colon slash slash my portal dot portal dot com port one zero zero three nine slash WPS slash portal. Be a little slow because it's compiling for the first time. I'm also going to open up a uh, a terminal window and just to to point out a couple things of interest. Um, switch to the root user. And let's go down into the. Uh, oops, change opt IBM. And then the web sphere show a couple directories of in interest down in here. Uh, if you want to check the logs or start stop the server, that's going to be under the app server. And with the express version, the uh, profile that gets created gets created under under the app server. It's not. Sometimes you'll see it as a a, a sibling directory to app server and portal server. In this case, it's going to be underneath. Uh, that app server directory, and so if you're looking at the documentation, this that this would be the um, the root of the profile. Yeah, so in the bin directory, this is where we're going to find the start and stop commands. Um, right there, start server and stop server, and then the logs are going to be under the uh, let's see the logs directory and then web server portal and there you can see the logs so we have a, a fully functional uh, web server portal instance now um, because we did it as a virtual machine we're able to back it up or we could actually copy this or copying it would be the backup uh, but we could also give this to someone else so that they could play around with it as well. And because it's the Express version, it's got the the Internet and Internet Express site already set up with all the Wickham content um, as an example of how you could set some stuff up to to give you something to to work off of if you're actually working on creating a real site in Portal. Um, so that's really it for the video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful, and thank you for watching.